What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Brandon Coin YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to start mining on any Windows-based CPU. So today we're gonna be mining to a website called Mining Dutch with our CPU. And on Mining Dutch, you can pick different payouts in all different kinds of coins. So let me show you how to get up and running. I've compiled together a easy launcher for XMR rig. So if you wanna use this, the link will be down below for that. And I'll show you how to get up and running for Mining Dutch. By the way, this is not sponsored or paid for. I don't get any fees or anything like that. This is just me trying to uh, help out a lot of new people that want to use some of their hardware and earn some crypto. So let's dive right into it. First things first, you will need to download the Mining Dutch CPU miner. This is the one that I've uh, just compiled together and makes it a little bit easier to get people up and running. Once you download that from my link below, you're gonna need to right click and unzip it. Uh, it probably will show up as a virus because most uh, mining applications are false flagged as viruses due to the fact that a lot of viruses um, always use a miner to try to mine on your system for somebody else. That was a really common thing years ago. Not as much now, but um, once you unzip it, you're gonna open the folder, and this is version 1.2. You're gonna see create new mining file, V1.2. Double click it, and then it's gonna open up Mining Dutch CPU Miner Generator by JellyFC.com. So would you like to open the Mining Dutch website? If you don't previously have a Mining Dutch account, you're gonna type in Y for yes or N for no. So go ahead and type in Y. That will open up your browser and you'll be on Mining Dutch. From this point, you're either gonna to need to log in or register. So go ahead and register. If you need to, pause this video, come back once you're registered. All right, and now that we're logged in, I want you guys to go over to um, you can just click on workers for right now. And at the top, since we're going to be CPU mining, click the drop down and go down to um, random X. And this is going to show all of our CPU miners. So you are to, to pick the actual coin. Um, I normally just leave it on your default mining group and coin set. I select multi-port. Right now there's only a single coin, but if they add other coins, multi-port will just automatically change to the most profitable coin to mine. I'll show you how to set your pay payouts here in a second once we get the miner up and running. So multi-port, and then here's the miner group uh, right there. Apply settings, and there's different modes. There's PPS, which is pay per share. So you're paid for every share that you submit, whether they hit a block or not. Um, PPLNS ha relies on them hitting a block and you get your share of that block. And then solo mining is literally mining essentially by yourself. If you hit the block, you get all the rewards, but if you don't hit a block, you get nothing. I suggest PPS. We hit apply, so those settings are in effect. We can minimize this now and go back to our miner. So enter the number of threads you want to mine with. The default is set to six. So um, depending on what CPU you have, you can always uh, open up your task manager and go to the performance tab and then go to your CPU. And this one, for example, is a Ryzen 7 and it has eight cores and 16 threads or logical processors. Um, if you wanna be able to use your computer while you're mining, I suggest about 25, but no more than like 50% of your threads. So I have 16 threads. Um, I'm gonna set this at, let's say six threads and hit, then hit enter. And it gives you a little readout right here. How many CPU threads would you like to mine on? It is not recommended to mine on all available threads. Leave at least one thread free for system stability. So if you have 16 threads, don't mine on 16 threads. You could have instability. I recommend mining on 15 uh, for the max. Uh, you can mine on as low as one thread as well. So um, let's go and hit enter. And then now the pool URL. So your stratum TCP Americas dot mining Dutch. So this is set up to mine on the North American mining Dutch server already. So you don't have to do anything except for hit enter. If you're going to be mining in North America for mining Dutch, if you're going to change that, then you're going to need to go to the mining Dutch uh, setup page and enter in the other mining address 
for the other servers or if you want to mine to an entirely different pool you would enter that mining pool address in right there so we're not changing it so deep we're going to just hit enter and it'll stay as the default and then now uh, we are going to see where it asks for uh, the wallet slash worker and it says you must use your mining dutch account name followed by a period and then your worker name example is my account dot my worker you replace my account with your mining dutch username and my worker with any name that you want for this rig so let me go and show you where to find your account name if you go back to mining dutch and go in the top right and see where it says account settings click that and your username is right there so mine is brandon coin no spaces all lower cases so we're going to go back and select or type in um, it's set to brandoncoin.5700g right now which is my system as default so if you hit enter it will mine to my account i don't suggest that so definitely type in yours so it would be brandon coin and then dot you know for example this is going to be test we're going to hit enter and then now it's going to say ask for uh, manual difficulty settings this is what mining J dutch suggests um, there's a couple recommendations here for difficulty um, i3 10 100 difficulty 6500 you can just pick a cpu that's close to what you have um, in this situation so an i5 22,000 on the difficulty i7 28,000 ryzen 5 41,000 ryzen 7 52,000 and then ryzen 9 uh, 74,000 so I'm on a Ryzen 7 so I'm gonna be close uh, this is an older one so I'm gonna be close to that 52,000 so I'm gonna type in D equals and I'm gonna go with 50,000 because that's slightly under uh, what I have now so D 50,000 we're gonna hit enter or D equals 50,000 then hit enter and then output file name um, it the default is start underscore minor dot bat we're just going to leave it as the default hit enter and then it's done start minor dot bat created successfully hit any key to continue that closes it out and then now start minor is in here and that's a minor that has all those settings in there if you need to change something you can always just rerun the create new mining file so we're going to run that it's going to ask permission to uh, uh, run as an administrator and it's starting on six threads. And it's gonna, yep, accept it. It's gonna start accepting some shares. I'm gonna let it accept a couple shares and then I'll show you what it looks like on Mining Dutch side where your rig populates and you can actually see uh, what it's doing. So it's already got two shares. Let's go over to Mining Dutch. We're gonna go back over here and click on workers and make sure you're under random X because it won't show your worker if you're not under random X. We don't have anything yet, not populated. It will sometimes take five to 10 minutes. So I'm gonna pause this and I'll be right back. All right guys, so I gave it a few minutes and it now has popped up here. You'll notice the hash rate is not gonna be correct uh, in the beginning. It's gonna take some time to level out because it is gonna vary. Um, it looks like right now I'm getting uh, right at about 2,200 hashes. So I'm only showing up 590 on the pool side. We'll give that some time and it should, uh, should start increasing um, and then level out to right around where it's supposed to be. Now, if you're getting a lot of rejected shares, uh, your difficulty may be set incorrectly. So you can go and set that higher or lower should help out. Um, now from this point we're going to need to go over and set our output payment so to do that you're going to go over to the i think it's the wallet tab yes wallets there we go so you're going to want to turn lazy mining on to 100 percent right now i have mine set to pay out to bc2 uh, to change it, you have to hit unlock. That will send you an email to your email address associated, and then it will uh, do a payout or do a unlock. And then you can select this down drop down menu and get paid out in anything that they show available 
um, on their list, which is, there's a lot of coins to do payouts in. So you can do pretty much anything. Um, I'm doing Bitcoin too, because I'm trying to stack up some more BC2. I feel good about it for the long run. And this is not financial advice at all. So that's how you do that. And once you set that, then you're good to go. Um, and then you just let your systems mine. You can mine on multiple systems all to the same account. Uh, just make sure to use different worker names so you can tell what system's doing what. Uh, and then to set your payout settings, you just go over to what, whatever coin that you selected to uh, pay out or to convert to on lazy mining um, and then click payout settings and then you'll enter in the wallet address and the pay when balance is higher than. So um, that's, that's as simple as it gets. You hit save and you're good to go. You're off to the races. Then it'll generate and uh, convert those coins over and whenever it gets to that threshold, it'll send you a payout and it's all automatic. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you have any other questions, you're always welcome to jump over to the Discord. We have a mining section in there and ask us some questions, but hopefully you guys can stack up some of those coins and, and reap some of those rewards. Um, this is probably, or this is definitely a more profitable, or not, I don't wanna say profitable, it's not profitable, uh, but this is a way to generate more revenue um, for me getting Bitcoin two payouts from CPUs than it is just directly mining BC2 or Bitcoin2 um, with uh, your CPU on the SHA-256 algorithm because they're more efficient on random X. Anyway, guys, I'm going to jump off here. Y'all have a good night. Adios.